What's up guys, I'm here with a brand new tutorial. I'm sorry for the lack of videos and tutorials I, have, I haven't been posting uh, in the past week and a half or so, or maybe two weeks now, I don't know. But I couldn't think of anything, and I just literally learned this today, and I thought that everyone needs to know this because it's freaking awesome. I can't believe I just now learned this. Uh, you probably, some of you might have already already know this, how to use the Vogue Codex. Um, but this is extremely awesome. And yeah, I want to teach you guys because anything I learn, I want to let you guys know how to do it as well. So, the first, I'm going to make this a two-part video. The first video will be more synth heavy, and the second one will be uh, bass. So, we're going to go ahead and need a vocal clip, or you can use anything really, but vocal is usually what people use for vocoders, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, um, you can experiment with this like I did. I experimented on a ton of stuff, so... It's pretty fun to mess with, by the way. So I'm going to get something in G major. Why not? G sharp major. What? <laughs> anyway, let's see what we got. If only I, Whatever. If we'll use only it. I could see the pictures in your mind. And we'll cut it there so that it's not too long. So it's in G major. You see it. I mean, G sharp major. You see this. Let me just... A little short. I don't really want to use this whole thing. Keep it short. Okay, so we're gonna throw that in the first FX channel. Um, and before I keep going, I want to let you guys know we're gonna be using three channels. We're gonna split this up in three different channels, and the first one is always gonna want to be your vocal or whatever you're gonna want to basically modulate the uh, or manipulate modulate the bass or synth with. So in this case, for me, it's going to be this vocal. And we're going to put it, in, it's going to need to be in the first of the three. So you have a three span, it's going to be number one. Or say you have a three span over here, 36, 37, 38. It's going to need to be 36. You get what I'm saying? Okay, it doesn't need any FX yet. But go ahead and direct, like link it to the third channel, which is going to be the channel with your vocoder on it. But we'll get into that in a second. And unlink it from the master. Okay? So next, <clears throat> we're going to need a synth. So go ahead and open up your favorite synth. I'm going to go ahead and open up Massive because I just love Massive. I'm going to detach it because my screen is tiny. And I'm going to open up a synth. It doesn't matter what synth. It um, seems to work better with um, saw waves, square waves, like the more bright, if you will, synths rather than a sine wave or something. Um, but I'll mess around with it and I'll show you guys. Make sure my voice, my uh, it's on polyphone. Okay, all right, everything looks good. Let's turn these off. All right, so mine's pretty much a simple. It might as well just be file new. You know, it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm gonna file new it. It doesn't even matter. So here we go. File new, brand new, massive patch. You guys can do this too. And I'm gonna make something that's not in G sharp, a chord, a chord progression, I guess. Not G sharp. So all I gotta do is avoid. G sharp, which is the third, the middle of these three black keys. Always remember that. So, let's just get something here. works for me does that work for you guys okay cool <coughs> go ahead and add that to the second one in your line of three pretty much um, untick the master channel like we did with the first one and link it up to three just like we did with the first one and go ahead and layer it oh, oh. layer the pattern over the vocal okay so this is what we have Only I could see the pictures in <laughs> And that is not in key at all, so that makes this all the more better. On channel 3, what we're going to do, leave it linked up to master, do not worry about that. Go ahead and open up Vocodex with it. And the first thing we're going to want to do is these two boxes right here. This is the most important part right here. Up here. Okay. So the first one is going to be the very first channel you linked in, the first one in the line, which is going to be the vocal. The second one 
will be the synth, the second one that's in the line. And that's how you link it up. It doesn't matter where it is on the channel. It could be 18, 19, 20. As long as the first one is <clears throat> the vocal, which will be right here. Or if you did two, the vocal could be the middle one. But I'm doing it one, two to keep it as simple as possible. Anyway, I just showed you what it sounded like without... I'll show you again, just so you know how bad it sounds. Without the vocoder. Only I could see the pictures in With the vocoder. Only I could see the pictures in it's in the chord that I made it. I, and I could change this chord to anything I wanted and it would sing it in key perfectly. And it would sound just like that. Awesome. Okay. So... What we're going to get into now is some of the vocoder effects, or not effects, uh, settings, sorry. Um, the first one's going to be this order right here. Basically what this does is it, uh, you choose the order in which, so say, okay, it's hard to explain. Say I have this one ticked, the first one. It's going to be more synth prominent. And if I have the fourth one ticked, it's going to be more <clears throat> vocal prominent. So, it seems like if it was this, it'd be more synth prominent and this would be more vocal prominent but whatever it doesn't matter I'm gonna show you what they all sound like real quick my personal opinion for the type of music I make I would prefer the very first one that's more synth heavy um, I don't know why I just prefer it that way um, and this one's sort of similar um, if you drag it all the way up, it's going to be more uh, synth or bass heavy, whatever you're using. And if you if it's all the way down, it's going to be you can uh, the vocals will be more prominent. So let's listen to what it sounds like when I mess with this. So yeah, that's the bandwidth, um, and I prefer to keep it around this area or maybe a little bit over. Never all the way, usually. Um, just depends on what I'm making or messing with. And this would be the amount of bands. So the fewer amount, it's obviously going to be a lot less prominent again. I can't really see, hear what it's saying, but it still sounds pretty cool. And the more bands, you'd obviously be able to hear it better. That sounds pretty cool. I'm going to leave it at about... 85. I like to keep this one above 50 usually unless I'm experimenting with stuff which is usually in the bass category and you can get some really cool sounds when you drag that all the way down I'm telling you so um we don't need to know much about that one but this right here this is, changes the pitch I'm not too sure why changing it to the male symbol in blue it makes it higher and then female is lower but it does and I'll show you that right now I don't know if there's some kind of technical reasoning behind that. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm not big on technical terms. I don't know a lot about that. I learn by messing with stuff and watching other people, and just I just learn from experience pretty much. I don't learn from reading books and all that type of stuff knowing technical terms I mean I pick some up along the way and they they usually sometimes they stick but I have to be doing it for a while for them to stick <laughs> I didn't learn what oscillator like I didn't learn the word oscillator for like the longest time I just always said OSC and now I'm I mean oscillator is one of the main words in my vocabulary now <laughs> but there's a lot of things you can do with vocodex there's there's tons of other things you don't have to just use a synth and a vocal I mean you could link up some kind of weird texture sound link it up with a bass and I'll be messing with that in the next video I make since I'm making this a two-part video but I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video right now I'm gonna say thank you for watching guys um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter I've been a lot more active on that lately uh, I'll put the link in the description but it's Thrilla official pretty easy Thrilla official <clears throat> and uh, subscribe if you're new to here new to this video um, channel new to this video new to here come on Cody um, yeah, subscribe, and I want to get a lot more, like, active with you guys, uh, so follow me on Twitter, I'll give you a follow back, just, uh, tweet me, tell me you watch my video or something, and I will follow you back, and if you ever need help, I'll, I'm more than welcome, I'm usually free during the days, and sometimes, um, well, various times during the days, sorry, 
if I if I check my Twitter and I see that you've tweeted me, I will not wait a long time and tweet you back. I'll tweet you right then and see what's up. But yeah, I thank you guys for watching and um, subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page, which is also Thrilla Official, and my SoundCloud is Thrilla. So why not give all my social media links out? <coughs> And I'm going to conclude this video with me just sort of playing around with some of the other effects, and you can see if you like it. I'm not going to talk anymore, though, so thanks for watching, guys.